What's up? What's up? What's up? Yep, Facebook page and YouTube channel. Please let me tell you something. I started my YouTube channel back in um, 2012. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I had a strong opinion about a lot of things when I first started the channel. Um, and I've learned, man, I've learned so much since I started my channel. It is a whole vast amount of different shit going on in the LGBT community. Maybe it always existed. I don't know. Maybe it has always existed. Back when I in my day when I was around, it was just black and white. It, it was it was one way or it was the other. You know, this new generation bringing about a whole bunch of different things. You know, a whole bunch of different things. You know, stood on stood, stood strapping. Uh, film boys, gay boys, uh, studs sleeping with men, um, and studs are uh, not only sleeping with men, they're sleeping with men for money. Um, you got studs marrying gay boys. Uh, you got, you got women in the, in you got women in the LGBT community that just sleeps around with other women and thinks because they're sleeping around with a bunch of women, they can't be a hoe. A hoe is not about the gender that you sleep with. A hoe is about how many people you sleep with and you don't know their names. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I think hoes get a bad name. I think, I think women that are hoes get a bad name. Now, I, I used to at one time, you know, dealt with hoes. And they were sophisticated hoes, educated hoes. They was ho-ho hoes, you know? And, and I thanked them for their ho -ship, Uh, because I was a little wild my damn self. And uh, if it wasn't for the hoes, that hoe would held me down. I ain't no telling where I'd be. But I had a select group of hoes. I had some in-house hoes. Um, and those was the only women that I went among. got rotated in between of them. They was the same women over and over again. It wasn't like a bunch of different strange women every time, you know, when I slept, when I, you know, decided to be with somebody. Uh, I think I had a total of five, five women for five years, the same women. Uh, and I never, ever, 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 ever lied to neither one of my females. I never lied to them. They all knew about each other. And when I meet a new girl, I tell them about the other three. And uh, I'm just saying, you know, I, I like a variety of women, and that's the truth. But that was way back in 19... Oh, it wasn't in the 19s. It was in the 2000s, sometime in the 2000s. But they knew about each and every one of them. And they never requested me to quit the other, you know. And I'll get with a new one, find one I like, and I just say, well, she's not going nowhere until I met my wife. <laughs> my wife was one of those new ones that I recruited, and she just wasn't going for that shit. You know, we kicked it. While I had those other wives, those other women in my life, we kicked it, but she said, look, we ain't finna keep this up. Now, you either get rid of the rest of them women or we can't be together. I said, how the fuck you gonna come in a circle? I've been with these women for years. If anybody go, you gonna go. She said, okay, well, I go. I said, you gonna go? I said, wait a minute, baby. Come on now. You ain't got to go. I'm, I'm crazy about you. You know, you know you my cuckoo poo poo, my cocoa puff, and I'm cuckoo cocoa puff over you. Come on, boo boo. She was meant to too. She said, I'm not gonna fuck around with you no more if you still had a mother in I see how the fuck you gonna give me an ultimatum like that. And so tell you the truth, I wanna repeat it. I went and repeat the same thing to my girls. I did, because we talked. We had that type of relationship. So I went to repeat, you know, told my girls what, what this new chick was saying, this new recruit. And my girls got very, very upset. She said, how in the fuck she just not getting in the game and trying to, t trying to tell somebody that they have to go? I said, that's what I'm saying, baby. How in the fuck she going to get in the game and try to tell, tell somebody they got to go? I'm with you, boo. She said, shit, she got to be crazy. She said, they said, baby, get rid of that bitch. I said, you damn straight. Hmm. 
So I called myself, you know, I wanted to knock the boots with her a couple more times before I gave her, you know, what my babe said. My other rest of the girls say, get rid of her ass. And so I wanted, you know, I, I was agreeing with the other girls, but the girl had some good coochie. Oof. Mm. Anyway, the new recruit had some good coochie. So, damn, I didn't want to really get rid of her. But she was trying to spoil it for everybody else. <laughs> Tell you what that new girl did. We went out. Like we normally do, we had a damn good time. She went and she pulled the mattress on the floor. This is a two stir. I put my hand up to, to the to the to the to the breast guards. It's a two stir. We got home that night, like we always do when we go out with fuck. She pulled the mattress on the floor this time. I said, girl, what you doing? Why you putting the mattress on the floor? She said, we're gonna be on this floor tonight. Man. Take your girl. Well, let me just say this. I fired the rest of my uh, wives. I had to go and give them all all to me. Baby, I'm sorry. I love you to death. We had a good time. But, you know, this is what it wrote in. And each day was so fucking pissed off. They say, splash, wait a minute. You going to let this new bitch come in the game? And we've been holding you down all this time. You won't let her come in the game and switch the game up. I said, babe, I can't handle it. She say she she won't want to be with me if, you know, if I got all these women. That's what she, you should get rid of her. I said, yeah, but I, you don't understand. I can't get rid of her. You know what I'm saying? She makes up all four of y'all, if you know what I mean. <sighs> what the hell was that? She makes up all four of y'all. So where I got to support and take care of all four y'all in her one body she covers all four what y'all do <laughs> all four boy look at him that was the biggest miss the biggest confusion in my life that i i have ever ever experienced and i let go of them four women but that one woman and man let me tell you i did not regret it i did not regret it I went with one woman because she had big, beautiful breasts. I went with another woman because she could cook her ass off. I had another woman who goddamn me washed my feet, treated me like a king, and I went with another other woman. She had that good, good. Mm. But this woman had all that. She, it was all rolled up in one package with this one woman. And I ended up with that woman for 25 years. Hmm. 25 years, 25 years, 25 years. Until she passed away. Ain't been able to find nobody like her. I've been single for about eight years now. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm trying to find somebody to compare them to her. Nah, I ain't, I'm over that. I mean, I'm good. I ain't got no hangups. I'm not still caught up in the in the depression of losing a loved one or whatever. I'm not I'm good. I'm I'm healthy. I have no baggage. I have none of that. But the quality of woman she was spiritually and the quality of woman she was emotionally and the quality of woman she was morally that can apply to anybody, not just her. But I haven't found any woman that has moral qualities in themselves as she did. Our uh, standards. I have moral good moral qualities. I have good moral standards. Moral. And these women today don't have any morals. You understand? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. You let me you offer the, the twat twat to me the first time I meet you, and offer the pussy to me the first time I meet you. That's not a good look with me. I'm 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 watching it. Trust me. I'm observing what you're doing. And if you offer it to me like that, you're offering it to anybody. You understand? So uh but I love to have a good time. I'm not gonna say that I don't date. And I'm not gonna say that I don't like having a good time. I ain't gonna lie. I am an addict when it comes to women. I love women. I ain't gonna lie about that. But I, I respect, I have never, <laughs> I've never cheated on my woman. And in 20-some years we was together, 
I never slept with another woman. I never kissed another woman. I never touched another woman because that's that's who I am. You know, that's who that's who what I stand for. So now uh, I'm I'm very committed and loyal when I'm in a relationship, but I'm not in no relationship right now. So I love women. I love beautiful women, and my secret is I love BBW women. Hey, to the big girls out there, shout at your old slash. Man, I love me some big girls. I ain't gonna lie. I love my, I love my, I love my, my, my small girls too. Don't, 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 don't be shy. I love my little, my little small, you know, women. You know, I'm my snappy in half in the bedroom, but that's what I'm worried about. I don't want a case. I like my big girls. Hmm. But anyway, this is all about this, this video. This video is about, uh, uh, shit, I don't know what the fuck this video is about. Y'all hit me up at the bottom, down below in the comment area, if you can tell me what this fucking video is about. I'm sorry, I went out at party last night. I, oof, man, I party last night. Uh, so I'm not all the way back 110%, but, uh, shit, I think I was talking about uh, relationships. But uh, the thing about relationships, y'all, is uh, it ain't meant for everybody to be in it. Yeah. And at this stage in my life, it might not be meant for me to be in a relationship. I'm serious. I mean, I'm not, I mean, you know, shit has to happen naturally for me. You know, I, I don't get into some say, well, we in a relationship now. Now, matter of fact. I be, I mean, things just kind of smoothly just kind of go into that thing. You know, it's not a planned thing. Like, a woman might say, well, are we in a relationship now? I say, do you think we in a relationship now? <laughs> I mean, do you think we in a relationship? Shit, because I'm asking. I mean, don't, 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 don't ask me if you're not feeling it. And if we don't seem like we are, you know, don't worry about what's coming out of my mouth, how I'm treating you. If I'm treating you like a queen, I'm treating you like a queen. You know, I never treat a woman like a hoe mm -hmm. because I'm a woman and studs can be treated like hoes too. You know, studs can be treated like tricks. Sometimes females just want to be with you because of what they can get out of you. It happens in the LGBT community too. You know, especially with them motherfucking pastas, them, them straight women that be in the LGBT, LGBT community. They get spoiled by women like, and they be like, oh, I never got treated like that before. Damn, I might as well be a bitch. Get with a, what they call, I might as well get with a bitch. She treat me better than a nigga. Then she end up sleeping with the guy, but, you know, tricking with the tricking with the stud woman. Man, people got so many games going on in their life. Hmm. But anyway, I'm going to get off this video. I'll be back with another one. I'm going to eat some fish with my mom. It's Mother's Day right now, May 2015. And I'm going to go back in the house with them. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I'm still kind of clogged up in the head. I can't even really talk straight. All right, bye.